What do your genes say about you? Hey everyone, welcome back to Taltanic. I'm your host, Alexa. Every one of us has 25,000 to 35,000 genes inside of us, but what does all of that really add up to? If this is your first time watching, make sure that you're subscribed and ring the bell so that you never miss an upload. Before we get into it, I have a question for you. Can you guess what my favorite holiday is? Write your guesses in the comments down below, and that answer is coming up later. It's a long list. DNA is microscopic, but if you were to unwind and string it together, the strands of DNA in one cell in your body would be six feet long. In the same way, if you joined the entire DNA in the trillions of cells in your body, it would stretch 100 billion miles. That's hundreds of trips to the sun and back. The sweet tooth gene. Turns out that your sweet tooth might just run in the family. Scientists have discovered a certain gene responsible for taste receptors that make individuals more sensitive to certain flavors, like sweet or bitter foods. It's not exactly a sweet tooth gene, but it just goes to show some of your pickiness is genetic. Lucky miss. One in five of us might be experiencing an awkward result of eating asparagus, while the other 80% live in genetic bliss. Apparently, the ability to smell asparagus in your urine is only coded into 22% of the human population's genetics. The other 78% are not able to smell the offending odor. Eat your greens gene. Your genes might be affecting how you perceive the flavor of broccoli, cabbage, and other plants in the brassica genus. Apparently, for people with a specific gene makeup, these delicious vegetables can be tasteless or very bitter. It's because these plants contain a chemical with similarities to phenylthiocarbamide. Bitter buds. Bitterness lies in the taste buds of the beholder, with genes determining how people perceive bitter flavors. These super taster genes give you more powerful taste buds, making you experience flavors far stronger than others. Scientists began discovering the genetic links to taste over 80 years ago, when they realized that opinions varied on flavors like lemons. Cancer genes. Thankfully, 90 to 95% of cases of cancers are caused by environmental factors. However, it is clear that rare cases, 5 to 10%, are predetermined by genetic makeup. These inherited cancers transfer from generation to generation in DNA. Say what? In Bengkala, a small village in Bali, there is a curious case of mass deafness. A recessive gene, DFNB3, was so prevalent that a huge part of the population was born deaf. The village, however, has integrated fully with their deaf members. They've fully integrated the use of sign language called katakolak and spoken language simultaneously. Now that sounds good runs in the genes. Turns out some of us are genetically more prone to be athletic than others. Of course, this doesn't make up for training and dedication to a sporting discipline, but it sure helps. You often see families excelling at sports from generation to generation, but this could also be a nurture-related case in that they don't possess the sporty gene. Rooting out the gray hair. Turns out your first gray hair is genetically predisposed and not actually prematurely caused by your kids. The gene IRF4 determines the pigment in your hair, eyes, and skin, and scientists are working on how to slow down the process of graying. There are also hair genes for unibrows, balding, and curls. But first, coffee. Turns out it's in your genetics that makes some of us react to caffeine. If you're one of those people who can't imagine a day without coffee, then you probably respond positively to stimulants. Others are unaffected and don't see the appeal. The sun sneeze. Sneezing is so satisfying, and if you can look into the sun or bright light and bring on a sneeze, then I have some news for you. It isn't a weird habit, it's actually your DNA, and it has a scientific explanation. It's called a photic sneeze reflex. About 25% of the population has it. While scientists can't explain how looking at a light can cause sneezing, it is something you got from your parents and you could pass on to your kids. Mutant lashes. A gene lurking in your DNA called FOXC2 might be the mutant creating luscious lashes. Famous Hollywood icon Elizabeth Taylor possessed this genetic makeup and naturally sported two rows of eyelashes. The scientific name is Dystichiasis. Fight or flight. DNA has been sculpted and adapted over thousands of years, and some predispositions date back to early humans when we were hunter-gatherers. One such survival gene that has survived rears its ugly head as high levels of aggression and is mostly found in men. 
Eye of the Beholder. It is fascinating to consider that you will never know if your blue is the same as another person's vision of blue, but there is a small group of women with a genetic mutation that can see 100 more colors than the rest of us. This DNA anomaly creates four different types of cone cells in their eyes, so they can see 100 million different colors, as opposed to the usual 1 million colors. Unique, like everyone else. DNA is so specific that one small change on the strand can be a whole different species. As humans, we almost think that we're totally other than the rest of the species on the planet, but we're a lot closer than we would ever like to know. Believe it or not, we share 50% of the same DNA as a banana. Muscle memory. Perhaps muscle memory is more complicated than you thought. Genetics can play a big role in how you react to exercise. How your muscles grow, use energy, and respond to the workout can all be linked to your DNA. So don't expect the exact same results as your gym buddy. Pitch perfect. If you can hear a note and name it, or sing a note without hearing a starting pitch first, then you are pitch perfect. This trait is hereditary, and your genes play a big part in this skill. Of course, you would need exposure to music and some training, but soon your skills should speak or sing for themselves. Family politics. The USA is basically split by a bilateral political system, but it turns out this could be explained by DNA. Studies show that the two groups' brains are wired differently. Republicans require more stability and don't respond to threats well, whereas Democrats are genetically predisposed to deal with uncertainty better. Taste test. If you have the DNA gene OR6A2, cilantro will taste like soap to you. Cool kid gene. Your social status at school might have been linked to your DNA. Studies show that popular and sociable people share a specific gene. The same gene has been linked to behaviors like mild rule-breaking, so sneaking out with friends suddenly has a genetic excuse. Great Minds IQ is a genetic inheritance from your parents. It has been proven through studies done on twins living in different households, and they have roughly the same IQ levels. There will soon be a $50 DNA test available, which is said to be able to determine whether or not your child will be smart enough to get their PhD or not. Not really sure if we're ready for that just yet, but what do you think? Wax on, wax off. Depending on which version of the gene ABCC11 you have determines your earwax. Yeah, you heard right, it's not the wax in your ears tricking you. This gene decides whether your earwax is yellow and sticky or grayish and flaky. This same gene decides the smell of the sweat in your armpits. If you have the gene for yellow sticky earwax, you will most likely have body odor. Worm your way in. Scientists claim that our closest genetic relatives could be mud worms. Our DNA is more similar to these worms than any other invertebrate. We're a family. Blue eyes are a genetic mutation that came into being some 10,000 to 6,000 years ago. All blue-eyed people most likely share one common ancestor. Baby weight. The weight of a baby in the womb is promoted by the father's genes, even if the mother is in good health. The mother's genes limit the baby's weight, regardless of fetal health, and somehow nature figures out the delicate balance between it all. Gluten glitch. 40% of humans carry genes linked to celiac disease. Celiac disease is a disorder that means you cannot digest gluten, and it inflames the intestines, causing pain. However, luckily, only about 1% of those with the gene will experience the symptoms of the disease. Lost and not found. Scientists confirm that throughout the process of human evolution, 510 DNA codes have been lost. Don't forget it. A 2018 report suggested that elephants have a cancer-suppressing gene thought to be non-functioning at some stage. It's called a zombie gene, and it could explain why elephants have significantly lower cancer rates compared to other animals. Only around 5% of elephants get cancer, compared to up to 25% in other species. Night Owl. Do you perform better earlier in the morning or late at night? Whatever your preference, it seems your genes play a contributing factor. Your circadian rhythm, or internal clock, is partly determined by your genes, so don't feel bad if you struggle to wake up in the morning. Just blame your genes. Bright Side of Plagues Turns out something positive might have come from the plagues of the Middle Ages in Europe. It seems that those who survived have a mutant gene that has been passed from generation to generation. The result? About 10% of Europeans are resistant to HIV. What causes this is a genetic mutation known as CCR5 Delta 32, which creates this resistance. It's usually not found in African or Asian descent. Superpowers 
Iro Monteranta, seven-time Olympic medalist, was able to carry 50% more oxygen in his body than a normal human due to a genetic mutation. Don't matter if you're left or right. Roughly 10% of the population is left-handed, and for the first time, scientists have highlighted a gene which seems to appear in lefties. Along with that, they have found differences in the brain structure, too. The study found four genetic regions linked with handedness, and three of the areas were linked to proteins in the brain's structure and development. Lefties are said to be more intelligent, creative, and better at sports. Lucky you if you fall into this category. Okay, let's take a break from genes for just one second. My favorite holiday is coming up. It's Halloween. What's your favorite holiday? Let me know in the comments down below. Red Hair Minority Report Did you know that less than 2% of the world's population has red hair? That is 140 million people globally. I suppose it's no surprise that the highest percentage of natural redheads are in Scotland. The second highest population is Ireland. To be born with red hair, both parents must be carriers of the mutated MC1R gene, and there's only a 1 in 4 chance of that happening if they don't have red hair themselves.